So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use OneDrive, which is part of the Office 365 suite of tools. OneDrive is their version of cloud storage space, meaning you can save Word documents, PowerPoint files, images, virtually any file that you can digitize can be saved to OneDrive. We're going to look at two different methods you can use. The first method we're going to use is OneDrive Online, meaning we're going to log into Office 365 and access OneDrive. And I'm going to show you how to create documents, store documents, and how to access them using any web browser of your choice. The second method is I'm going to show you how to do the same thing create OneDrive files, create Word documents, PowerPoints, but instead of going online, we're going to use the OneDrive app, which will sync to OneDrive online. So let's get started with method one. So to get started using OneDrive online, you're going to open up a web browser of your choice, and you're going to go to the website office.com. Once you arrive at that page, you're going to log in using your Office 365 credentials which is your email address and then the password that you designated. And then you're going to click sign in, which is going to bring you to the landing page of Office 365. Now Office 365 is not just comprised of OneDrive, it has a number of other different applications that you can use using your web browser. So once we've logged in here, it's going to land us on this page that's going to give us numerous different applications we can access as well as um, some files that we may have worked on recently. So you can see here on the left hand side, these are all the different online versions of Windows applications that you can access, but we want to go over to OneDrive. So if you don't see it listed, we're going to click on this app launcher, which is going to show you all the apps that are available to you. So I'm going to click on OneDrive, which is going to open up a new tab. So this is my file storage area. Now I've been using OneDrive for a while, so you're going to see a list of folders in here as well as a few um, files that are not in folders, but I like to try and keep everything organized into folders. So within all of these folders are a number of different types of digital documents. Some are Word documents, some are PDFs, some are PowerPoint. So everything here is stored in the cloud. And again, if I want to go on my phone or I'm away on vacation and I have a web browser on a computer somewhere available to me, I can access these files. If you are starting brand new and you want to start creating some kind of file system, which is something I strongly suggest, what you can do is click on this new button over here. And you can see from this drop down, you have a number of different options. You can create a new folder. You can also just start creating documents from the get-go. I suggest starting off with a folder if you don't have a folder system yet, and you can call this folder whatever you want. So this is going to be my test folder. You can rename this at any point if you want to, and you can also delete it at any point. So this no, new folder is going to be down somewhere here because everything is alphabetized. So you can see here, here is my new folder. Now, if I want to create a new document and I know I want it to go in this folder, what I'm going to do is actually go inside this folder. If I were to click on new right now and click on Word document, this would create a Word document but wouldn't put it into any specific folder because I haven't clicked on any of my folders. So I'm going to go out of that and I'm going to go ahead and click on my test folder. How do I know I'm in my test folder? Because this breadcrumb trail up here tells me exactly where I am. So now when I go and I click on a Word document, this Word document now is going to be automatically stored in that folder because that's where I originated the document from. So this is the online version of Microsoft Word, which looks very similar to the desktop application that you may be used to using. And I can, again, I can get started right away. My cursor is right on the screen. What I would suggest you do before you begin any new document in Office 365 online is to click on this option over here and name your document immediately because when you exit this document, you will be prompted to name it like you would when you normally use a regular desktop Word app document. So I'm going to name this my test doc one and it's going to go into the folder that I had already um, designated it to go into, so I don't need to do anything else except click away from it, and now that name has been changed and it's automatically have been saved. Now I can just start adding content to my folder, my document rather, 
And you can see here, because we're working in an online environment, we're logged in, um, and we have internet access, all the changes that I make to this document are saved automatically. So when I'm done, I don't need to go to File, Save As, or anything like that. I can just close this tab. Um, I still had my OneDrive tab open over here in a new window. So that document that I was just working on, the name hasn't reflected the change yet, um, but that document is here. Um, and if I refresh the screen, it will probably rename itself. But this is the way I can now um, re-access this document if I needed to make any changes to it. I just repeat the steps of logging into Office 365 and then going into that folder and just clicking on the name of the document and I can get started. So this was the online version. Now I'm going to show you just a slightly different method instead of logging into Office 365, how you can use OneDrive just using the regular desktop applications. So method two is going to involve using the OneDrive app. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, particularly if you are on one of our school devices, the OneDrive app is already pre-installed with most Windows machines. So this is what the OneDrive app does is it syncs with the cloud, the OneDrive online version. So anything that you save to the OneDrive application on your desktop computer, it will automatically sync back up to the cloud and you would be able to access it when you log into Office 365 online. So to make this clear, let's get started with method two. So you can see here, I'm looking at the desktop of my computer. If I come over to the lower right hand side to the taskbar, you can see here there is a little cloud in this taskbar, which is the OneDrive icon. This is the OneDrive app that is already installed on my computer. Um, and it's automatically connected to my OneDrive account. Uh, you can see here there's a number of different types of files that are syncing as I speak. In order to use this, in order to um, create documents and store documents in OneDrive without having to log in, all you need to do is actually kind of go the traditional method that you might be used to using. So for example, if I was going to just create a Word document, not logging into a browser or anything. I'm just going to use the desktop application of Microsoft Word. I'm going to open up Microsoft Word. I'm going to create a document. And then I'm going to show you exactly how I would save this. So you can see here, here's regular old Microsoft Word. We're not in the browser version. There's no address bar here at the top. Um, I can put my content in, whatever it is I'm going to be typing. We are not in the online version, so nothing is being saved automatically yet. But if I go to now to File and I go to Save As, you can see here OneDrive shows up because this is one of the recent places I saved. But we're going to do the long route here and I'm going to click Browse. Because I have the OneDrive app installed on my computer and it has been signed into with my Office 365 credentials, OneDrive is also an option for me to save to using this method. So when I click on OneDrive, you can see here all the folders that you saw before when we were in the online method are available to me. And I should see that test folder here as well that I created in the online version. So let's say I want to save this document here. I'm just going to call it my test doc 2. And then I can hit save. So now, once I've hit saved, and now this is now saving up to the cloud, it's saving to OneDrive, and you can see now auto save has now been turned on. So as I make changes to this document, all of my changes are being saved automatically, just like it was in the desktop application. The only difference is, is that I'm not logging into a browser to work on my document. I'm using the old fashioned method of opening up a document, but this is going to save to the app as I designated it to save to OneDrive, and then it's going to sync up to the cloud. Either method will work. You just have to make sure that your saving is on, your internet access is on, and you should be good to go.